it's time to add some color to our bus. We have outlined it, covering up all the pencil with our Sharpie. We've erased any pencil lines that were once there, and now we're on to coloring. But I don't want to see coloring that looks like a scribble. There's a lot of white paper showing in between those yellow lines. Instead, when I'm using my crayon, I'm coloring back and forth right next to where I colored before. That way, I don't see any white paper showing. I'm going to want to color all of my bus except my stripe, doors, and windows will not be yellow. So I'm going to color all of the body of the bus. As you can see, I colored all of the body of my bus not the windows, but I did color very carefully in between the windows, above, below them. I did not color my stripe, my doors, or my wheels, but I very neatly filled in all this space. I'll even check and make sure there's no little white areas that are showing. I want it to be nice, solid yellow. Go ahead, take a crayon, yellow crayon from your basket, and very neatly color in your bus. Once we have our buses colored in, next up will be the wheels. We're going to color in the wheels just like we did the bus. So we want to color it nice and neat with the edge of our crayon. So very neat and careful. I'm going to fill in these wheels nice and dark, making sure there's no white space left. I could leave the middle white, but on the tire of the wheel, I want to make sure I fill it in nice and even. I've done both my wheels with my nice, neat black crayon. Go ahead, color in your tires on your wheels nice and careful with your black crayon. All right, once we've got our wheels done, we have a few more things we're going to use our black crayon for on our bus. We have our windows, which it's too dark to see inside, so we're going to use our black crayon to do our windows and doors, and buses have a nice black stripe. So all of these last pieces are going to be black with our crayon. Oh, but I can't forget our little bumper up front. So this needs to be black, these need to be black, this little part up here, all of this and every one of my windows. Make sure they're colored in fully. We can barely see any white paper showing through. Go ahead, finish coloring in the different areas of your bus that should be black. Once our bus is colored, we need to move on to our background or the things behind our bus. Now our road is also going to be black, but wait, it's not going to be colored the same way as the other black parts of our bus. Our crayon usually stands straight and tall, but instead, it's lazy today. It wants to lay on its side. So we're gonna use our lazy crayon. It lays on the paper. I'm gonna use my fingers to hold the top of the crayon and push down and rub my crayon back and forth. <gasps> Look what happens when my crayon becomes lazy. It creates texture. So with your black crayons being lazy, we're gonna rub them on their side all across our road to make it have a texture, the texture of our road. Make sure you're still nice and neat, staying in the lines of your road to make our texture with your lazy crayon. Go ahead, turn your crayon on its side, push and rub. The last parts of our picture are also going to be done with lazy crayons. Lazy crayons don't have any paper 
around them so that they can lay on their side and be rubbed. But we're not going to do them like we did our black lazy crayon. Now we're going to use what are called texture plates. Now remember, texture is the way something feels. So these don't, these have a feeling to them. But when we use them to draw, we're going to draw the feeling when it won't actually be there. So we're going to use some texture plates. They'll go behind our picture. So the texture plate is down, then my picture. And then my crayon will rub over the surface of my texture plate. Now we still need to be careful about what colors we use. This is grass, the hills are grass, and then my sky is blue because it's a sky. So I'm going to use some greens for my grass. I chose a few different greens. You can choose different kinds of colors. It's going to lay on its side and I'm going to rub. Look what's starting to appear. You can see that texture that's on the texture plate behind my paper. So I'm gonna rub, I want my green to show all underneath my bus. I'm rubbing my crayon back and forth, moving my paper because I need to make sure this texture plate is behind my paper. If it's not, then it just becomes smooth or of still kind of rough, but it's like my road. We want to create this texture. So make sure your texture plate is behind your paper and rub that lazy crayon over the texture plate. I could even switch the plate at the same spot. Maybe I'll put this one under my same area of grass and choose a different green and I could rub this one too. You can go as many times as you'd like in each area. I'm gonna move up to my hills using my texture plate and I'm gonna rub this green. Now it's kind of showing up in dots. I might choose to flip over my texture plate because there are two sides to it and different things will show up. Here, now this is showing up a little bit different. Oh, here we're getting some rough bumpiness. Here shows up the green of my hills. I'm gonna go all around. I'm still staying in the lines of my hills. I'm turning my lazy crayon so it's staying in the lines. And I'm filling in that green grass. So I've got my green grass. Now the only thing left will be to do my sky. I might switch my texture plate again, take a new one, put it behind my paper, take a blue and start to rub. Ooh, it's almost like a starry sky or a pokey polka dotted sky, depending on what my texture plate might look like. I think I'll try a darker blue too. You can mix your colors if you'd like, as long as they are right for the place in your picture, like blues for the sky. And I'm going to go over on top, keeping in my sky, because my hills aren't going to be blue. And there I've filled my picture with texture. That is our last step, is to add all the texture in our background.